In this video, I'm going to discuss how to delete or clear permanent diagnostic trouble codes. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about permanent diagnostic trouble codes, and this affects vehicles 2010 and newer, mostly in California for the time being. And again, if you have one of these codes, you cannot delete these. Neither can the dealer or anybody else. You have to basically fix the issue and then complete 200 miles and 15 warm-up cycles. And on this video, I'm going to show you how to look up that information using a scan tool like this. And if this is out of the budget, you could use a $30 OBD2 reader, which I'll leave you guys a link for in the video description box down below. And this is very easy. And I'll show you what you need to look up. The tool that I'm using here is the Xtool D7W. And the same applies to all the different tools. You basically want to scan the vehicle, so I'm going to hit Auto Scan. Once you have your vehicle selected, select the engine and the transmission modules. Go to Live Data and just scroll down a little bit. You want to select the coolant temperature. Warm up cycles since last cleared. And distance. So we need this to be at 15 and this to be at 200. For the technician to go ahead and let the vehicle pass even if the code has not cleared the system so there is a way around this if you're really dealing with a stubborn code let me show you one warm-up cycle being completed and today's a pretty chilly day and this is going to be a hybrid vehicle that i'm doing this to so i'm going to raise the rpms up to get the coolant temperature up higher and we want to start at under 120 and we want to make the coolant temperature go above 165. Every time we do this, we're going to complete an additional warm-up cycle. And it's really easy to go ahead and get the 200 miles in and go on a little road trip. And at the end of the video, I'll show you guys a little trick that a lot of mechanics use to go and cool off engines a little faster. If you want to go and complete this even in one day, it's possible. There it goes. We completed one warm-up cycle, guys. And I'll show you guys that little trick now to cooling off your engine faster. And at the dealership, we would oftentimes get vehicles that had permanent diagnostic trouble codes because they were from auctions. So what the smock technician would tell us to do is to drive the 200 miles. And if the code hadn't disappeared, then we would take it down to them. And they would warm up the vehicle past 165, below 120. And do this enough time so they can verify using the method that I showed you. And they would get the vehicle to pass. And a little fan like this definitely cools off the engine really fast. And you want to place the fan on top of the engine, not in front of the radiator. And again, there is no way of clearing up these codes on vehicles that are 2010 and newer. So just fix the issue, drive the 200 miles, and work on the warm-up cycles and get that coolant temperature under 120 and above 165. Do this a few times and you may not have to do all 15 warm-up cycles and your vehicle will go and get ready. And if the problem still persists where you have that permanent code but you've completed the 15 warm-up cycles and driven the 200 miles, the technician can go ahead and use a scan tool like this and still let you pass. And at the end of the video, I'll leave you guys a link to the OBD2 reader in case you guys want something that's a little bit more budget friendly as well as a couple of videos that will help you understand the diagnostic trouble codes including the permanent. Thank you so much.